As the Christmas season got underway this year, it left me wondering something a bit unusual. How many Christmas songs are there? Well, obviously there are a lot. Hundreds, probably thousands. But how many standard Christmas songs are there? New artists with new singles come and go every year, but even they still cover the old favorites. People have been singing God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen for so long that no one remembers that it's supposed to be God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. And aside from that part, if you're in an Anglophone country, odds are you can sing that song from memory, at least the first verse. Most of our Christmas music consists of the same classic songs that we sing again and again. I was interested in how many of these songs there are. If an artist wanted to sing a quote-unquote complete album of Christmas music, how many songs would be on it? And that led me to more questions. What fraction of Christmas songs are religious? How old are they? How many aren't about Christmas at all? Looking at you, my favorite things. So I did something slightly crazy and went through and made a list of every standard Christmas song I could think of. And this video is the result. This video was partly inspired by Twelve Tone, who did a sort of similar kind of analysis of children's songs a few years ago. Although I'm only looking at the history, I'll leave the music theory to others. And I won't claim to have done this as scientifically as he did, but I think I assembled a pretty solid list. So first, how did I make this list? I started just by looking at Christmas playlists on places like Spotify or YouTube or Billboard. It was especially good if they said top 100 Christmas songs, or top 200, because those were more likely to be comprehensive. The longest list belongs to Song Pop, which had nearly 500 songs. All told, I probably went through a couple thousand entries, although there were of course a lot of repeats. But even without the repeats, not all of these are standards. Weird Al Yankovic's The Night Santa Went Crazy, while funny, is not likely to get played on the radio, at least when the kids are awake. A lot of them were artist singles that don't really get play beyond their own works, or were simply too obscure for me to have heard of. But I racked my brain and marked down everything I could even vaguely remember being a Christmas standard. That left me not with a couple thousand songs, but about 140. This list still needed some trimming. Like Santa, I needed to check it twice. Although, I admit this is getting pretty subjective. There were at least half a dozen songs that were only on the list because Pentatonix covered them in their Christmas albums. When you believe? Really? I took these off the list because they're not Christmas standards. At least not yet. I rejected a few others for similar reasons. Canon in D was mainly on the list because of Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Ode to Joy because of Die Hard. I did generally allow songs on the list that are associated with the season around Christmas. Like O Come O Come Emmanuel is an Advent carol, and Winter Wonderland is just a song about, you know, winter. But songs that are specifically associated with other holidays were out. These were Over the River and Through the Woods, which is pretty strongly considered a Thanksgiving song in American culture, and Auld Lang Syne, which is sung for New Year's, even though it wasn't originally a holiday song at all. Then there are some murkier ones. There's a whole batch of generic religious songs that are not used every week, at least in Protestant churches, but tend to get trotted out for holidays in general. The Hallelujah Chorus, The Lord's Prayer, Ave Maria, This Little Light of Mine, and also Celine Dion's and Andrea Bocelli's The Prayer, which came from a movie but is still clearly religious. There are also two secular songs in a similar position, songs that don't mention holidays or winter, but that always seem to get played around Christmas anyway, and not just by pentatonics. My Favorite Things, and What a Wonderful World. The criterion I want to follow here isn't whether they're songs about Christmas, but whether they're Christmas standards. By that I mean, are they sung specifically at Christmas time to the exclusion of other seasons? For that, I am somewhat arbitrarily drawing the line to include the Hallelujah Chorus, which is at least a Christmas Easter thing, but to exclude Ave Maria, and to include My Favorite Things, but to exclude What a Wonderful World. If you come back in ten years, that could look completely different. 
Maybe there will be a bunch of artists who copy Pentatonix and record covers of When You Believe and How Great Thou Art and so on on their Christmas albums. Or maybe it'll be something we never even saw coming. Songs from media were also tricky. There's a significant batch of songs that come from TV and movies, and for this the criterion I used was does it get played at Christmas divorced from the media it came from? Based on this, I discarded most of Trans-Siberian Orchestra's discography, which focuses on concept albums, and all of the Rankin-Bass originals. I also cheated slightly by listing the entire Nutcracker Suite as a single song. That one's weird because a lot of it gets widely played, but only in pieces. Once I sorted out the entire list to my satisfaction, I ended up with 119 Christmas songs in what we might call the standard repertoire. And here they are. You might dispute a few of these here and there, but I think a little over a hundred is a number almost everyone will agree on. My next question after I made this list was, what are these songs about? And I wondered this after I realized that a good chunk of them aren't actually about Christmas, they're just about winter. And of course, there's the age-old tension between religious Christmas carols about Jesus and secular Christmas songs about Santa. So I went through the list and wrote down the main topic of each song, and they divided up like this. Religious songs in green, secular songs in red, songs that don't quite fit either theme in blue. And you can see that religious songs make up less than half of all Christmas music, but not much less. One third of the total are specifically about the birth of Jesus. And between the two sides, the Christmas season in general has more than twice as many songs written about it than Santa personally. Mind you, I still had to fudge it a bit when categorizing these. For example, Do You Hear What I Hear only makes sense if the Mighty King is one of the Magi. And I still don't understand what I Saw Three Ships is supposed to be. On the other hand, there are also a sizable chunk of religious songs that aren't actually about the birth of Jesus, but should fall on a different part of the liturgical calendar. But they're sung at Christmas anyway. And a few others are not about Jesus' first coming, but his second coming, but they've also been transplanted to Christmas. But after I did this categorization, I noticed something else about my list. The religious songs, to my admittedly limited knowledge, mostly seem to be older than the secular ones. Which isn't surprising by itself. Christmas as a secular holiday is a 19th or even 20th century innovation. But how much older are they? Of course, what did I do next? I went through the list and wrote down the dates when each of the songs were first printed. Now, when I say the dates they were printed, there are so many asterisks to that that I can't discuss them all here. Some were published long after they were written, some were popularized long after they were published. For a lot of songs before the 20th century, the lyrics and the melody were written separately and only paired together later. But I wrote down all of the dates the best I could, and grouped all of them into religious or secular, even the ones I set aside before, and this was the result. On this chart, I grouped together all of the songs older than 1700, because before that it's hard to pin down exact dates. And before 1850, there aren't enough to really break them into decades, but you can see the pattern. A lot of the religious Christmas carols are old nearly half coming from before 1800. Then there was a spike in the late 1800s, and only occasional ones after that. Meanwhile, secular Christmas songs were a rarity before the 1930s, but there was this wild Gaussian peak of new music from the 1930s to the 1970s before it settled back down to just a couple new standards per decade. Why is this? Well, I wasn't sure, but Cheddar News had a really good analysis of this very question. Short version, starting from the success of White Christmas, which was partially driven by World War II and the troops stationed overseas, followed by the commercialization of Christmas in the post-war economic boom, this led to the emergence of Christmas music as a distinct market, and that led to a flurry of new songs from the major labels. But eventually, the market was saturated, and for a holiday fueled by nostalgia, that squeezed out a lot of attempts at new songs so that now we're down to this two or three new standards per decade. But with the total number of standards climbing into the triple digits, that's probably plenty. 
You can check out their video for more info, link in the description. And I noticed one more thing after I did this. Interestingly, while the oldest song on the list comes straight from the Bible, the newest songs on the list are from 2004, which makes nearly 20 years since we've seen a new Christmas standard. And that surprised me a bit. Although maybe it doesn't mean that much. It might mean that it takes time for a new song to become a standard, or it might just mean that I'm behind the times. Leave a comment if I've missed something. Anyway, I didn't want to leave it at just that, so as a companion to this video, I also created a massive seven-hour playlist of the history of Christmas music from Magnificat to Wizards in Winter, covering an example of every single song on my list. The hardest part there was finding traditional arrangements of the old songs from professionals. A lot of the modern artists like to mix things up when they do covers, which is fine, but is not what I was going for. For the modern songs, I tried to focus on the official channels for the original artists, with one exception. For Walking in the Air, all of the official versions are on YouTube Kids, which can't be included in playlists, so I had to list an unofficial upload. But it's been up for a while, so it'll probably stay there. Oh, and just so you're forewarned, I did use the original Wham! for Last Christmas, so feel free to skip that one. But for the rest of them, check them out and see if you find any new or old favorites. Link to that also in the description. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.